Are you still creating a wardrobe like that? So it's wrong and it's a wasting of your time. Let me show you the simplest and easiest way to create a wardrobe. Before that, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. So let's jump in. First, we should create a base for our wardrobe. So by using rectangle tools, let me draw a rectangle by 300, 270, like this. Then select this edge and Press Ctrl to take a copy and move it up to here and divide it by 3 like this and also take a copy from this edge by for example 70 centimeter and let me select this line and take another copy from this one too and divide it by 3 and here too by for example 30 centimeter and press control to take a copy by 20 centimeter and once here the middle now this is our base let me take another copy from this one to the middle so now this is the base of our wardrobe just select all and by using 1001 bit tools plugin and with this option just click on it after that you will see this window the first option is the thickness of the birds so i take it 1.6 and the second option is the depth of our wardrobe so let me take it 50 centimeter and at the end just click on ok like this it's so easy so and also as you can see our base is in the middle you can move it anywhere you want for example here like this or you can delete that and draw another rectangle like this and extrude by for example one centimeter and make it group so let me make both of them to one group like this so now we need some doors for our wardrobe so what should we do just draw rectangle here then you can create base of the door for example take a copy from this edge up to here and once here and then middle and here too and once here too and also from this edge once here to the middle and here too then Take a copy from this one up to here too like this so now let me hide word drop and then erase these lines like this now this is the base of the door so again select all and by using 1001 bit tools plugin and guys you can find this plugin on our website for free i have shared its link in description so click on this option again in here 
this is the weight of our door profiles so let me take it c1 centimeter and this is the thickness of the profiles for example 1.6 and at the end just click on ok like this let me unhide the word drop as you can see it has a problem so we should fix it let me take its measure what is that 3.5 so remember that i will tell you what is that so let me undo and again click on this option guys whatever the weight of our door profile is we need offset half of that from the base of our doors let me show you in here this is our base so by using offset tools or use shortcut f for offset take an offset what is half of profile our profile is seven centimeter half of that is 3.5 so and also let me let me tell you and also we have a distance between two doors here right here we should take it to for example i take it 0.4 centimeter 3.5 plus 0 0.2 0 0.2 because we need half of that for each door is 0.2 and total of that is 0.4 so now uh, we need to take an offset by 3.7 okay so let me take an offset again by 3.7 enter and all of them from all of them just by double click and this one too so now just like this phase hold the control key to select other doors like this then again click on this option of 1000 run by tools plugin and uh, just click on ok like this so now just just move it here like this and also put a glass color on it find glass material and put a glass color like this and also you can edit its color for example like this it's good now let me unhide our wardrobe like this as you can see we made some doors for our wardrobe as you can see our work is done i hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you for more tutorials please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't already and don't forget to like comment and share the video with your friends